What's going on everybody? It's Bailey there here with another quick little video and guide um, over something that I think is important for new players and older players alike to know and understand. Um, we're going to be going over uh, my items that you should save for first. This is obviously beyond, you know, like aspect items and uh, master chains and stuff like that. But this is going to be going over the storage shelf, the resource stockpile and the magic item recycler along with the bank box or the bank deposit safe. Um, these are some items that uh, I think are incredibly important. So we're going to do a quick video over that. But first, I would like to say um, thank you for watching this video. And uh, if you could go over to twitch.tv backslash barely there and drop a follow. I primarily stream over on Twitch uh, a random day, Monday through Thursday. And then I always stream on Friday nights starting at 6 p.m., roughly 5 to 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time over on Twitch. Um, I primarily raise money for uh, different charities over there. Um, to date, we have raised $28,000 uh, for various for various charities. So thank you very much for all that. Um, and if you could, make sure you drop a, uh, a like, uh, a, a subscribe, and a comment down below on uh, if you think I missed anything or if you think I uh, messed it up or if, if you have any questions over these, uh, I'll do my best to go over them. Uh, as best as I can, just to give you guys an idea of what's going on with these. All right, the first thing we're going to start off with here is the storage shelf. Uh, the reason why this is such a, a great item for, for players to have is it just allows you to quickly create loadouts uh, for your character. Um, that way, as soon as you come back from a farming run, you've done something, you don't have to manually get these potions and pots and all these different items that you see, you know, leather and bows, spell books and whatnot. Um, it allows you to just be much faster to get back out to the dungeons and keep, keep grinding it out. Um, the way you can acquire a storage shelf is it does t cost uh, about 10 MCDs, four of them are gonna have to be made into carpentry crafting manuals, two blacksmithing crafting manuals, two tailoring crafting manuals, two tinkering crafting manuals, and two board commodities. Uh, all those you can get just by out there, out, out farming, especially a lot of uh, newer players, they're already out there lumberjacking anyways, so it's super easy for them to go ahead and, you know, save save two board commodities, don't, don't, um, don't uh, don't sell those when you're when you're young, and then save up some some gold for some MCDs. They're roughly at the making of this video, approximately 15k a piece, so about 150k in um, MCDs. And then find a buddy or me uh, who is a 120 carpenter, and they can craft you up one of these storage shelves. Um, but yeah, so as you see here, I have a loadout for this is my necromage, uh, my necro poisoner. Um, but I have, you know, everything that I need uh, to go out and farm the dungeons. I've got, you know, my regs, I've got my spell book, I've got my rope. Of course, if Pwn's watching this, um, carry a bunch of rope. Um, don't let him steal it. And then I have, you know, the different armor that I want along with my, my lethal potions. Um, you can store just about anything you could possibly need to get out there farming. So if you look, it, currently there's all the, you can, every single different type of leather, you can store the different types in there. That way you can change your loadout based off of whatever you want. And whenever you're crafting, you can store everything on this shelf as well. And I, when I get to the resource stockpile, I'll show you that little piece right there too. But as you can see, I have, I've just, when I'm making stuff, I just dump it on here and, um, it's ready to go. Uh, the way you're going to do that, if you want to create a loadout, is you're going to go and you're going to click this button up here that says edit loadout. Boom. And then you just change. You go through each page and you change up or down like, oh, I want to carry one more uh, trap pouch. Boom. I just change that. And based off of what I'm playing, if I'm playing a dex or I'll take bandages and quiver or as long as I have the resource uh, to take, I, I, it'll, it'll take it. And I'll show you another setting here in a second. But um, and then you can go through, select the different armor that you want. If you can see here, I'm currently rocking uh, golden hide uh, leather. A little bit, a little bit uh, better armor quality. Uh, but if I was, you know, playing 
anything in the plate side I can change it that way as well and then I can choose what weapon I want if I'm running fencing swords macing whatever or if I'm uh, playing a uh, a mage I can take a different quality spell book different quality of all of my bows and my martial manuals change out my shields my food I make sure that I always go with uh, decent food if I'm playing something like a thief or if I'm playing a trapper or a lock picker, this is where I can go ahead and, you know, take uh, my lock picks of different qualities. Uh, I can grab my trap tools and my detonators and my, my wire. Smoke bombs, if I'm playing a thief or a backstabber, a disguise kit. Uh, if I'm playing like a thief hunter or something like that, that's where I can also store my detective lenses. And then, you know, your commodity deeds. If you're one of those guys that goes out and farms leather, you can go ahead and have it automatically put a couple commodities in your backpack. That way, once you hit 5,000 leather, you can go ahead and make that into a commodity and you can carry more. Just be careful with that, obviously, because uh, commodity is easy to steal. Uh, just make sure you keep a trap pouch or a lockbox or something. And then if you're a boater, this is where you can go ahead and uh, set your load out for carrying your large ship bombs, you know, your uh, boarding ropes, repair tools, and your cannonballs. Uh, super simple. All you have to do is just hit that edit loadout button, pick what you want. If you're playing an inscription mage, you know, you can take different spells out of here um, based off of your loadout uh, and based off of your inscription skill. Um, I believe like uh, level seven and eight spells at 125 inscription have a chance have like a 100 percent chance of not being consumed but anything lower than that i think has a, like a 40 percent chance i don't quote me on that one could be wrong but i think that's about right um but yeah so that's basically you know what you what you can set to this and make it super simple and then if we go to the next page over here on the top right hand corner i always have use any food type because i'm not going to click a specific type of food in my loadout I'm just going to click one of them and then just hit use any food type. Uh, you can also click downgrade resources. So if you um, you know that you always like to use like me, like I said, I was using golden hide. But if I run out, if I click downgrade resources, it'll just take one of the lesser quality below whatever I have. So I can always keep this set and just click downgrade and it'll just continue to use uh, either this quality or, you know, downgrading it. It'll never upgrade it. And another th great thing that they added in here was this resupply rune books. So when I come up and I hit resupply on my my storage shelf, it will automatically, as long as I have recall scrolls over here, as long as I have uh, recall scrolls, which I currently do not have any, and I need to make some, uh, as long as I have those, it will automatically refill my rune tome with the max amount of uh, recall scrolls. That way I never have to worry about it unless I, you know, obviously don't have any on my shelf, which this is a good reminder for me to go ahead and make some more. But anyways, back like I was saying, so you can you can do all of those things right here just through this function. If you want it to keep aspect, if I if you do not want to put uh, poison weapons or aspected items um, back onto the shelf, you can click keep aspected and keep poison weapons. Uh, I just have it put everything back on. It doesn't bother me at all. Um, and then you can also change how you'd like to st stack these items. So if you have a bag on your loadout and you click, you know, um, I want stacked items to go into a bag and I want single items to go into this backpack, you can take one of those and it'll put them in there for you. So let me see if I can change this for you really quick. Let me drop all this crap off in here just so I can give you a quick idea. So if I have one of these in my loadout and I click these, it should resupply all those items, right? My stacked items went into my bag and I didn't have any single items because everything was a stacked item. I had multiple, right? So it went into uh, those pouches. Boop, pop, eat, boop. Um, and I'm going to resupply that back in here because I or restock it. But that's how you can make it to where everything's nice and neat in your bag and you don't have a bunch of stuff scattered everywhere. Uh, you can easily do that. So when I resupply, everything goes into this nice, neat bag and all my stuff is in here. And then all the loot that I get will be nice and easy uh, to do. And you could also do stuff like, you know, um, 
you can set your loot container to one of the trap pouches right here and then you could also put it inside of this bag and everything stays nice and easy so if you die you just have to loot one bag your armor and your weapon and stuff and it makes it super simple uh and then you can obviously go to your activity log this just shows all the resources that have been added and taken off i can clear that with this button right here and now there's nothing on my activity log and then you can if you have a different style you can change the style of shelf that you have just utilizing this right here uh that's if you have like a, a furniture die that you've got you put it on here but you don't want to you want to change the color around for any reason you can put multiple furniture dies on this and you can change it based off of the ones that you have unlocked i have only unlocked the metallic chalk on this on this guy so that's basically a quick rundown of the um resource uh excuse me the storage shelf um now we can go into the next item that i wanted to go over which is going to be the uh resource stockpile this is where you can put all of your crafting goods this is primarily used so if you're new and you're like okay i want to get into crafting you need to get this um you can buy them off of the prev merchant i believe for either gold or uh prev coin i think they're 25 prev coin or 500k for these uh for the uh, resource stockpile um they can't be crafted that's just one of those things that's only on the uh the the, res uh, the uh, prep vendor, but it's an incredibly useful tool that allows you to be able to craft uh, with ease. So when you're out lumberjacking and everything, you can take all these items that you have collected from lumberjacking and mining, you could throw them onto your resource stockpile, and then uh, you'll be able to craft with them later. Same thing with your leather and your regs and your gems. I suggest getting one of these and then always saving your gems. Don't sell your gems. The reason why is you're gonna to wanna to keep those in case you wanna level a tinker. As you can tell, I've saved up almost enough to start leveling my tinker. I just need some more of these top three gems here. But then if you're doing your, your weekly societies, it's always good to have uh, some, some extra regs on here because then you can craft uh, for your societies and then you could also craft all of your um, you can craft all of your potions and stuff to put onto your uh, storage shelf and that's super simple I'll show you how, how to set it up here in, in a minute you can also keep all of your commodity deeds you can keep your cloth your MCDs your scrolls your food items basically anything that you could use for crafting this is where I keep all of my um, my cores and my uh, extracts and distillations they're all on here as well and that keeps you from having to actually need uh, if you don't have an aspect item tome which is one of these. Uh, as you can see, I don't have anything in this because I, well, except for phylacteries. Um, you, can just, you can just keep them on your resource stockpile and you don't have to worry about having to buy that extra uh, tome unless you wanna have something to put phylacteries in. And then uh, what, what the reason why this thing is so good is because, you know, this next page here, um, all you have to do is outfit it and put some of the crafting tools in here, uh, which can all be made either by a tinker or it can be bought from various vendors that, you know, it aligns to. So like Taylor and the cook and, you know, a uh, blacksmith, but the provisioner also sells them and tinker vendors also sell uh, all of these items right here that you could put onto your stockpile um but anyways so if i want to create an item all i have to do is just click you know whatever i want to make if i have a tailor right and i'll just show you really quick um if i want to make you know some hats you know i just uh i come over i add that to the uh the crafting menu here um this guy doesn't have tailoring so i'm not actually going to be able to craft anything but what makes it nice is here let's do let's just do it with this one we'll do it with the alchemy one so if i wanted to make a bunch of heel pots with my guy I could add my greater heel pots to my crafting queue. I would select uh, the box as my resource stockpile because that's where I'm getting the items from. And then I would click the bag and I would put it on my resource, my storage shelf because that's where I want the items to go. So now if I click this button and I were to actually craft them, it would use the, the materials from inside of my stockpile and it would put the crafted items onto my storage shelf, which is incredibly convenient for being able to restock your, your storage shelf and uh, get your guy out there faster and, and, and grind in and out the dungeons. 
So that is uh, the reason why I think the resource stockpile is one of the most important items for a new player to get. Moving on to the next one. One of my favorite ones is the magic item recycler. As you can see, I put all of my unidentified magic items into this recycler here after I'm done with the run, right? And all of these are very simple, right? You don't have to open this up every single time. If I had a bunch of items in my bag, um, all I have to do if I want to put items back onto my shelf is I, you know, I click the shelf, I click restock, and then I select myself and it puts all of my items back on the shelf. Same thing if I've got some cores and stuff that are still left in my bag, I can go ahead and click the stockpile and restock on myself. And then if I have items in my bag, I'm going to click add all unidentified items from backpack. I'm going to click that and it's going to take all the unidentified items from my bag. It's going to put them right in here. Same thing with the, uh, the magic item recycler. This is bought with either 25 prep coin or uh, 500K gold. Um, very much worth saving up for. So if you're a new player, uh, save up some board comms or uh, uh, iron commodities, uh, sell that stuff, get these, because then in your in room, you can put all these in your in room and you're going to be able to just be that much more effective and fast and getting back out there. But I want to show you how this thing works. So if I double click this magic item recycler, you see here all of the things that are highlighted in green are all of the things that I want to destroy and turn into arcane essence. If it is in red, it is all the things that will remain inside of this chest after I recycle. And I went through and I set it all up for all of my all of my different settings here. Armor, I'm only going to keep invulnerability armor and exceptional gear because I don't want to accidentally recycle those. Same thing for my my uh, my spell books. I'm just going to keep exceedingly and supreme, and then my vanquishing ones, because I, I don't really care about durability because I have a, re a repair bench here. Um, and then I'm, I don't care about lesser slayers either. They're kind of garbage. I only keep regular and greater uh, slayers and up. So if it is highlighted in green, it is going to destroy it and turn it into essence. And if it is in red, it is not going to just it is not going to destroy that item. Same thing with all my other stuff. I can show you all my settings here. Wands don't even matter because there currently aren't any wands. So we can kind of get rid of all those. And then I also have recycle all categories clicked. That way, when I do click recycle, it just does them all for me. And the way you do that is that you have to get yourself a container ID wand. You take this container ID wand, you double click it and you click the chest. It'll tell me estimates the contents to be worth about however much gold and it tells me how much arcane essence that I'm going to get uh, based off of the value of the items in here. So it tells you right above your head how much you're going to get. So I have now identified all the items in here. You can see I click it. I've got, you know, some force books surpassing whatever uh, force. All right. So I have that. I've gone through all these settings. All I'm going to do now is I'm going to click begin recycle. It's going to break down all of those items inside of that item recycler for me. And I got an exceeding book. I'll go ahead and put that in there. I cannot wait for the next expansion to come out because the uh, items are going to be able to go into a new a new shelf, which I can't wait to do a, a video on that. But as you see, when I recycled it, I got some blank scrolls. I got 252 ingots. I got some boards and some leather. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to hit click restock on my stockpile and I'm going to put it all on my stockpile. And then I got a power crossbow. I'll put that in my weapons chest and I got a supremely melodious tambourine. I'm going to put that in my weapon chest. And then I've got myself about 1100 arcane essence. I'm going to put that in this container here. And that's how I save up uh, my essence so that I can fuel uh, my aspect when I'm out there playing the game. Don't forget to put your uh, container ID wand back away. And boom, that shows you right there how I use the magic item recycler. And the last item that I find to be uh, very useful for a new player or anybody in, in for that fact is the bank deposit safe. Uh, that allows you to, when you come back from your run, you can drag the gold out of your bag. You can drop it on the safe. It'll go directly to your bank and it's done. You don't have to go to the bank, say bank, take the gold out, put the gold in. Uh, it automatically places it in there for you wherever you have a bank box locked down in uh, either a house that you're friended to, uh, your guild house. If you have a guild house, they probably have one of these. Um, but having one of these in your in room allows you to just get in there, drop all your stuff and uh, get, get going. 
Um, so yeah, that was a quick little video on just like these four little pieces. Uh, that I just find to be uh, incredibly useful. Uh, the last one, it would be a distribution chest, but um, most people just have those in their guild houses. Uh, and you don't really need to worry about one of those until you're, you know, f either in a, in a guild and you're, you know, destroying items to your party that you've been farming with or just your friends that you're farming with. But these four items right here, I think expedite uh, your playing experience and will allow you to have a lot more fun. Uh, and you'll be out there a lot faster and uh, it'll be good. So uh, if you guys have any questions, please drop uh, some you know questions down below. Oh, the last thing I forgot, uh, the bank box, same thing as the item recycler and the resource stockpile. It is 25 Prev or 500K off of the Prev Merchant in Prevalia. Uh, that's how you get this one right here. Boom, boom, boom. So it's about 1.5 mil for all of these. And then this one right here, your storage shelf, which I think should be the number one thing that you get. The number one thing you should get is this one right here. I think followed up by the magic item recycler, your stockpile, and then the bank box. I think that's the order that I would go in. Um, but yeah, um, if you have any questions or you would, uh, you would like to know a little bit more about these, just uh, drop a comment down below. Uh, don't forget to uh, hit the uh, subscribe button, like the video, and uh, give me a follow over at twitch.tv backslash Bailey there. And I hope to see you when I go live next time. Appreciate you guys.